welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I really just feel like sitting down, chatting with you guys and doing some full glam makeup because I hardly ever wear full glam makeup anymore and I feel like it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do something that is suitable for the daytime, but still really pretty and wearable. So I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I haven't used this in so long and I want to do something really like peachy and girly looking and nice and light on the eyes because I don't know I feel like for the daytime I don't want to do anything dark so the first color color the first color that I'm going to take is candid peach if you guys haven't smelled this palette before you will die it honestly smells incredible so I'm just going to take that shade and I'm going to use this in my crease I'm going to add a little bit of definition in here a nice pop of pinky beach color so I went out last weekend and I put strip lashes on like over the top of my extensions and like <laughs> I low key slept in my makeup and I woke up the next morning and I tried to rip off my lashes and I honestly ripped out like all of my real lashes and my extensions at the same time. So if you're wondering what's going on with that, that's what's happening. Oh my Lord, I have so many hairs to pluck. I did not see those until I put concealer over it. You know when you're hormonal it hurts more to do this because you're more sensitive it's great great time to do it <laughs> the next color I'm gonna take is puree this nice chocolate brown down here it's a nice warm tone I'm literally just gonna add the smallest amount on the outer half of the crease just because I want a little bit of color but because it's the daytime I don't want to like overdo it at all so I'm just taking a fluffy brush and blending that in here oh my god this is so soft the next color I'm taking is Just Peachy, this really pretty pink up here. And I'm just going to pop this all over my lid just for a light wash of color. I just want this to be super soft and like easy to do. Okay, so the lashes are on. Let's move on to the foundation. So I'm going to be using one of my all-time favorites. This one is from Clinique. It is the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And I've been using the shade 11 for a while now. Um... I have gone through like three of these bottles. It's amazing. Um, so it has like a little sponge applicator on the end. So I'm just going to start dotting this. Oh, I thought someone walked in the room. <laughs> I'm just going to start dotting this all over my face. <gasps> oh my God. I swear to God, I have like the most dodgy setup right now because I'm just trying to figure out how to do this in Chloe's house. And everything keeps falling off my suitcase that I'm using as a desk. Thank you. This honestly has the most amazing coverage and because my skin isn't looking that great at the moment it's like exactly what I need and it's it's not like it's not overly matte but it is pretty matte so it just lasts on my skin like no other like this is the foundation that I wear when I go clubbing like all the time and it just like it holds up hun and I stay out for a long time trust me on that I'm gonna push that back into my hairline so I'm gonna look a little crazy for a second here Anyways, the next thing that I'm going to take is this MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. This one's in the shade NW20. I used to use this all... Kindly. I used to use this all the time, but um, I think they changed the packaging. So I don't know the formula. I don't know if the formula's changed or like what's happened, but I definitely got a shade that's too light for me. So hate that for me. Looks like we are going for a highlighted look today, honey. Okay, so I'm going to set that in a second, but for right now, I'm going to go in with these Clinique Chubby Sticks. These ones are so good. So um, I'm going to first start by contouring my face with the Sculpting Contour. This one's in the shade Curvy Contour. So what I'm going to do with this is just put this on the bum of my Beauty Blender and just start working this under my cheekbones to add some definition. But this is honestly the most amazing shade for like a warm, structured face and you can definitely build it up if you want like a really structured face or if you just want like a little bit of definition it looks amazing and because my skin is so dry at the moment it's so much better using creams like obviously I'm going to go in with a powder bronzer as well but it just looks so nice and fresh on the skin then I'm just going to go under my jawline just to define that slight little bit a little bit and then I'll just take it around my hairline as well I just find it's easier to put it on the back of the beauty blender. Just, I feel like you have more control over the product. And this one's really easy to blend as well. There's some like contour products out there that get like kind of stuck. 
and don't blend properly but this one's amazing I will leave all the products I'm using down below as well if you guys are interested in anything. I also like to put a little bit under my chin as well. So it gets rid of that little double dub. That was really dramatic. I need to watch the dub ad. If you guys haven't seen the dub ad, it's actually so amazing. It's about this, um, this woman that comes in and gets drawn by this artist. And she explains what she looks like to this artist and then he draws her and then a random person explains what this girl looks like to the artist and both of them together when it's finished it's like this girl described herself to be so like unattractive and not beautiful and then the random person like described her to be like so beautiful it's just goes to show like some people just pick out all of their flaws instead of all of their like beautiful features but i love that ad so much if you're ever feeling down Watch the dub ad. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight in the shade 02 Super Starlight. So I'm just going to put this on a little brush and I'm just going to pat this on the high points of my face so we can have even more of a glow. I'm just going to start by putting it up here. This one's so pretty. It reflects the light so beautifully, especially like when you're out in the sun. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to go in with blush. This one is such a beautiful shade. So this is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pop in the shade 01 Ginger Pop. How many times can I say pop? Hello. This honestly has like the most smooth texture. So I'm just going to be very light handed with this and <laughs> light handed. And I'm like, Bleh. and I'm just going to pop this on the apples on my cheeks. I want to keep my cheeks really rosy because the eyes are nice and peachy. So I want to kind of tie it all together. But oh my God, this is like hands down my fave blush at the moment. Chloe's actually obsessed with blush as well. I should let her try it. I feel like it just adds so much life back into your face. Because, like, when you put foundation on, you kind of take away all that natural, like, you know, flush of color and stuff. I might go in with a little bit of highlighter over the top. So this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. I'm just going to take this shade right here. And I'm just going to pop this over the top of that other illuminating shade. It definitely is, like, dramatic enough, but I just want to go that little bit further. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to the lower lash line. So I'm just going to go in with the shade Puree again and just take this from outer corner to inner corner. Just because I want a little bit of color under there, but not a lot since it like I want this to be for the daytime. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Nectar. It's this really nice champagne -y shade. I'm just going to put this on the inner corners to bring some light right back in here. Oh my god, that color is stunning. Okay, so now it's time for lips. I'm going to go in with this Clinique Chubby Stick Lips in the shade Intense Caramel. So I'm going to put a little bit of foundation over my lips to kind of get rid of the pinky tones and then we can go straight in with this. Excuse me, my lips are huge. I'm absolutely obsessed with this one because it is super moisturizing on the lips, but it also adds color at the same time, which is what I need because um, my lips are seriously like stretching so much right now. If you don't know why, you can watch my last video. It feels like a lip balm. It's so nice. Anyways, now it's time to pop in some earrings and then we are done. I actually love how this makeup look turned out. Okay, guys. So here we have the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as I said before, I will leave everything that I used down in the description below. But it was really nice to just sit down and do my makeup with you and just be super chilled. I know I wasn't like super high energy in this video, but I don't know. Sometimes when I do my makeup, it's like very therapeutic for me. So I just like to chill out and I don't know, hopefully... Um, you guys enjoyed this video. So if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.